So now, now things are rolling. The wheels are turning. We're just, we're, we're, we've got a checklist and we're just going one by one, right? We're just doing all the, that's these. right. Yeah. So one by one, they figured out, you know, the causative agent for all of these different diseases. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we mentioned cholera, um, which is which is astonishing because like cholera like no who gets cholera nobody gets cholera <laughs> not anymore but one day people got cholera <laughs> all the time so one, one, yes like whole yeah. whole villages would be laid low by exactly. cholera <laughs> it kind of makes me laugh like the you know the whole mentality of <laughs> that like western medicine doesn't do this doesn't do that whatever it is it's like you you aren't unfamiliar with its achievements because those diseases no longer exist exist. (laughs) if we had this during the black death or the plague yes like we you know (laughs) i know we're like half of the people died ancestors what they had to deal with i mean even not that long ago with the flu the 1918 flu this Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. crazy epidemic and i have friends who don't think flu is that serious right (laughs) it's all i can do not to just grab them by the collar and say flu is a killer flu mm-hmm. is a killer what are you doing we are so lucky yeah to be able to take a vaccine against these things right. rather than take our chances with the actual disease absolutely yeah and we don't even know what those prior uh, epidemics were uh, right hundreds of years ago right, right, what, right could they even have been we just will never know just people were like everyone's dying we have no <laughs> idea why i, I think it's demons it's, just, it's so terribly almost sad. positive it's demons <laughs> right but, um, but you know that, that brings up an interesting point is that uh, you know how much how much more I don't know, sort of superstitious are we that mm-hmm. I think a, back then people were pretty content to let things be in God's hands or something right. like this, you know, that there was a certain amount of control that they let go. Mm-hmm. And they knew that, well, there was a pretty good chance that your child would die from something mm-hmm. and that you would die from something. And now I think we have this illusion of control, you mm-hmm. know, and we, we decide that, well, I get to choose whether I'm going to take this vaccine or another or and I feel pretty good about my choice. And now I'm I'm in control of the situation. But mm-hmm. you're really not. You know, you're just, you're really still at the mercy of chance. Mm-hmm. You know, are you going to get exposed to this disease? And are you going to survive it? Right. Or a new one. Yes. Or a modified. Yeah. Right. Right. Which is why we got to stay on top of it. We yes. Research these things. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So so where are we at in the timeline now? We were, Louis Pasteur was what, late 18th, so early was, 19th century? Yeah, late 1800s. Um, and so now... If we start talking about um, the early 1900s, okay. um, notice that uh, there were all these diseases at this point that were addressed, um, sort of uh, one by one vaccines arrived at, and these were bacterial uh, diseases for mm-hmm. the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, so things like diphtheria, you mentioned the plague earlier, um, tuberculosis. Um, so at some point, um, you know, people find each causative agent, they grow it up in bacterial culture, and they experiment with creating a bacterial-based vaccine. Mm-hmm. Um, it was harder for them to do this for uh, viral-caused uh, diseases. Um, but starting in the um, 1913, about that, so early 1900s, they did come up with a way of reliably growing vaccines in culture. And then that made it easy to, well, not I don't want to say easy, no, but much easier to start to address the viral caused diseases other than in the ways of say what Pasteur did where he was passing it through animals. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, you could actually do um, more carefully controlled experiments in tissue culture.